For this tutorial you will need your selected yarn. I'm using Stylecraft Special DK in Raspberry. You will also need a crochet hook. I am using a 5mm crochet hook. You'll need some scissors and a darning needle just to finish off your end. To get started what you want to do is make your slip knot and you can do this whichever way you prefer. Insert your hook and we're going to begin by creating a foundation chain. Now your foundation chain wants to be in odd numbers and then we're going to plus one for turning so it's actually going to end up being an even number of stitches. I'm going to start off by doing 25 plus one for turning so 26 in total. So you want to yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. If you want to pause the video and keep doing your chain to whichever length you want, it's an idea to lay out your chain either on a bed or um, just down on the floor so you can get an idea of how big the width of this project is going to be. For this particular one I've chained 26 and this is perfect for an iPad cover. So pause the video and I shall meet you back once you've done your chain. Now what we're going to do is start working our way back along the foundation chain with a double crochet. So this is double crochet in UK terms, in the US this is known as single crochet. So we're going to ignore the loop that's on the hook and we're going to skip the first chain and work into the second chain along. And you want to insert your hook, grab the yarn and pull it through and you'll have two loops on the hook and grab the yarn and pull it through both loops on the hook. Again into the next chain space, grab the yarn, pull it through, grab the yarn, pull it through both loops on the hook. And you will just continue in this way all the way along to the very end. So if you want to pause the video now, work your way to the end and I shall meet you back to show you what to do next. So once you've come to the end of that row, your two pattern repeat will actually start now. So from now on, the next row that we do and the one after that will repeat it again and again. So for example, if we take a look at this piece here, this is the foundation row that we've just done. So the foundation chain followed by the row of double crochets and then this row and then the one in between is two rows and then it's repeated again and again. So once you've actually got the, the gist of these two rows, you'll be well away and it's a really quick building project to do. So first of all, what you want to do is chain three, one, two and three, and you're going to turn your work. We're then going to work right into the bottom of this stitch. So if I just pull this apart here, you can see at the bottom of this chain three, there is an open stitch there. So what we're going to do is actually treble crochet some stitches together. So treble crochet is the UK term. In the US, this is known as double crochet. So you want to yarn over and insert your hook. Yarn over, pull through. You'll have three loops on the hook. And yarn over, pull through and you'll have two loops on the hook. Now normally we would yarn over and pull through those two loops but we're going to leave them on there for now. So this chain three is classing as one treble, this next one is your second treble and we're going to do five in total. So this is our third treble here, so yarn over just pull through two stitches, so that's three and one more four and then our last one five so you've got five stitches and then you're left with five loops on the hook now this is going to be the same for every first puff stitch that we do of each row you would then yarn over and pull through all of those loops on the hook and then into the next stitch we're going to do a double crochet so again US this is single crochet so insert your hook yarn over pull through and then yarn over pull through two loops on the hook so whenever we're working this stitch you're always working on the wrong side of the work so again if I grab my sample piece here 
this is the side that we're facing when we're creating these bobbles. So this is always the wrong side of the work. So that is your first bobble stitch there. We're then going to go into our next chain space and we're going to crochet five trebles together. So it's yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. So we now have two loops on the hook. So that's our first treble. Second treble. Third treble. Fourth. And fifth. So you'll notice this time that you actually have six loops on the hook and that will be the same for every one apart from the first one of every round will only have five. So you can either count your trebles or you can just keep going until you have six loops on the hook. You then want to yarn over and pull through all of those loops on the hook and you're going to insert your hook into the next space, yarn over, pull through and yarn over, pull through two and that puffs out that bobble stitch there. And then that process is simply repeated. So we're going to crochet five treble crochets together. So one, two, three, four, and five, and you'll be left with six loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all of those loops on your hook, insert your hook into the next space, and do a double crochet. So you want to repeat that process all the way along until you get to nearly the very end. Pause the video and I shall meet you back there to show you what to do next. So now I'm at the very end and I have one stitch left. I've just done a double crochet, so it is correct that you actually end on a puff stitch. Also notice that as I'm working this actually spiral, spirals round, that is completely normal. The more you build the work, the more it will flatten out, so don't worry if that does happen. So what we want to do now is our last bobble stitch of the row. So you want to yarn over and insert your hook into that last space and do your five trebles as normal. Yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook and you'll notice that there isn't a, another stitch for you to bring that stitch down into but that's absolutely fine just give it a bit of a pull and then yarn over and pull through just to secure that stitch you're then going to chain one and turn your work and we're going to be working back the other way and this row is actually really simple if you turn your work um, onto its side or so that you can see the top end you'll see these longer V's and shorter V's, longer V's and shorter V's, and that's what we're going to be working into. So you want to put your hook underneath that long V first of all, and that's the top of the bobble stitch. Yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through, and that's a double crochet. You're then going to go into the smaller V, so if you pull it apart you'll see a small gap there between both of the bobbles, and you're going to do a double crochet in there and then you're going to go over the top of the bubble and between and in the top and in between and so on and so forth. So work your way all the way along that row so you get to the very end and I shall show you how to start the pattern repeat again. I'm now at the end of this row again and what I'm going to do is chain three. One, 
to three. I'm going to turn my work and then remember this first bobble stitch is always slightly different to the others. You're going to do four treble crochets right into the first space that you can see. And you're not going to finish off those trebles because we're going to crochet them all together. So at this point you'll only have five loops on the hook rather than six and you're going to yarn over and pull through all of those loops on the hook and then do your double crochet into the next stitch. You would then repeat the same process all the way along. If you're still not clear on what to do you can rewind the video and follow the instructions for the first two rows. If not, you can pause the video and work as many rows as you want to and when I come back I'm going to show you how you can change colours if that's what you want to do. So here I am with my sample piece. I've actually done three rows of the bobble stitch so that's it actually works out as uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rows in total because we have the first row here. And what I've done is on my last stitch I've um, done a chain cut off my yarn and pulled that nice and tight and what you want to do is insert your hook into the base of that stitch just underneath of where you've tied it off. You're then going to grab your different colour yarn, grab that and pull it through and as always I like to just tie this off just so I know that it's extra secure. You want to insert your hook into that same space again and then you would just continue as normal so as you would here you would chain three so grab the yarn and pull it through first of all and then chain three one two three turn your work and then work into that first space so once you have chained three you're then going to do your puff stitch into first space and continue as normal all the way along. So I've just skipped forward ahead and added a few more of those bubbles just so you can see what that is starting to look like with those different colours added to it and you can change those colours up as much as you want. So that is your bobble stitch tutorial. I really hope it's helped. You can apply this to any of your projects. If you like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below for any requests that you might have for future tutorials. Make sure you subscribe to keep up to date with any of my latest videos. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you again next time. Bye.